Yeah, hey, Coach, can you take us through the play call on the fourth and three that led to the first touchdown yesterday? Yeah, um, yeah, I think there was kind of no decision on what we were kind of going to going to kind of get to into that uh, in that play call. Um, obviously, had to use a timeout the play before the play before, um, but we knew what we were going to get to. There was no hesitation. We talked about it the night before. Kind of had a feel what coverage we were going to get to. You know, coach was going to be aggressive and. So no one blinked and uh, just really good operation by our guys. Great execution. Khalil and Mac did a great job on the play of being able to set a natural rub and you know, nice pitch and catch. And Josh Allen throws, uh, records, excuse me, under 20 pass attempts yesterday. Your running game really asserting itself. What does it say about your team to be able to win in, in different ways this, this early in the season? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously it was it was really complimentary football yesterday, uh, especially in the second half. You know, we we didn't have to really throw the football at all, right? Um, you know, uh, we, when we get some points on defense, and um, you know they're helping us a lot. Um, but yeah, I think the biggest thing is you know throughout the season just finding different ways to win. You know, whether it's hey maintaining the you know uh, being able to you know win up front rushing the football, and there's going to come time and place when we're going to have to throw the ball fifty times. And it's about um, us just being willing to be able to adjust to how the game's being played and being able to dictate the terms also um, and know that, hey, we can we can win any way that we need to. And so, uh, um, you know, watching a guy like Josh and, you know, just loving life, no matter whether he's throwing it 10 times, whether he's throwing it 50 times, but just how he was out there having a lot of fun, you know, and taking what the defense was giving him and leading out there, not having to do everything was, uh, was a lot of fun to see. Thanks for your time. Coach Brady, Buki Harkins, Welfare Sports 1080. Congrats on the win yesterday. Thanks, appreciate you. We got we got Mafia upside down. We got Highlands on the shirt. You 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 no full question. fledged today. I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm all <laughs> Buffalo. Absolutely, man. Speaking of all in, last year, James Cook was an integral part of the team's success heading into the second half of the season. Uh, you know, just care to talk about the importance of uh, Cook's maturation that you see going forward in these two games. Yeah. Um, you know, he's really confident. Um, you know, he understands the, you know, I think it was really important to see him, you know, continue to evolve last year and understand that, you know, understand blocking schemes and, and how, how old linemen are going to approach blocks and how he can set it up and not just, you know, just, uh, just doing what he's kind of been able to do his whole life or just kind of get the ball in his hands and good things happen. And now, you know, uh, just being that veteran presence now and understanding what we're trying to get and how or why we're trying to run this play, how we're trying to attack it, um, his patience, his understanding, and, you know, he's playing confidently. And as you guys know, whenever guys are playing confidently, good things are going to happen. And, you know, we have uh, all the confidence and faith in, in Jimbo to, you know, in any any role. And, you know, last night he, he made, you know, he had those opportunities and made the most of them. Absolutely, man. And, and you know, here it is week two. You guys are continuing to, you know, pile up those chunk plays two, which led to scores. Uh, you're rather consistent, you know, inside the red going two for two. How dangerously important is red zone efficiency, especially with the weapons that you have on display? Yeah, no, I think every week you want to you want to be able to the, the game of football, right? Most games I know last night might not have played that way, but most games are one score games. And a lot of that comes down to, you know, scoring touchdowns in the red zone um, as opposed to field goals. And, you know, you go back to the week one, you know, we had a, a touchdown taken away for a field goal, um, you know, and, and that stuff can't happen. And so, uh, you know, anytime that we got in that we get in there, it's so important to score touchdowns. A, it helps make the opposing team one dimensional and making them having to chase points. Because sometimes you kick a field goal and the defense comes off the field feeling good. No matter you could have had a 98 yard drive, you kick a field goal and they're like, hey, good job. Um, so I think when you find a way to get, you know, uh, get seven as opposed to three, uh, you're feeling a lot better and it's making life a lot easier for our defense. Absolutely. Speaking of, uh, you know, making life a lot easier, you witnessed Bill's Mafia last year after clutching the division, you know, down there. What was your reaction the second time in Miami last night? Yeah, no, it's 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 incredible seeing the, the turnout. Um, you know, uh, I'm originally from South Florida, and so just seeing how many – uh, how many blue was in the crowd, how much blue was in the crowd last night, man, it's a lot of fun and, and you hear it, you know, I, I didn't probably, it didn't take a second to kind of take it all in until the end, but um, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's Bill's mom here there, um, whether they were at elbow room earlier and then they found a way to get to the stadium later, man, it's, uh, it's kind of what makes, makes them special. And um, I'm just, I'm, I'm fortunate to be a part of it.
Absolutely, Coach. Congrats on the win, and I uh, appreciate the time. Hey, Joe. Um, what have you made of of Josh's decision making over the the first couple of games? Um, I've been I've been pleased with his decisions. Um, you know, I've been pleased with his footwork. Been pleased with his understanding of you know the scheme and what we're trying to get uh, trying to get done with it. And um, he's doing a really good job with it. Um, he's playing confidence and. Uh, Anytime that that stuff's kind of going hand in hand, uh, good things are going to happen. And, you know, fortunately, we didn't didn't have to do much in the second half, you know, with, like I said, with what our defense was able to do and the lead we were able to get, um, you know, that we didn't ask him to have to do much in that situation. But from a decision standpoint, I like where he's been at so far. How much does him being able to kind of win pre-snap and see different things before the snap um, impacts, you know, his decision making afterwards? Yeah, I think I think any given any time that I can help him, you know, makes, you know, try to make life a little easier with him, whether it's a, you know, hey, whether it's a formation indicator, an alignment bias, you know, a defensive player, you know, um, you know, or just changing sometimes whether it's motion or shift. But, you know, even when I don't, sometimes, you know, he'll even prefer to just, hey, let me just get stationary and uh, I'll be able to kind of handle it uh, from there. And so, um, you know, when you get a guy like Josh that continues to evolve year to year, um, his his knowledge of defense and seeing defenses. There's a lot of times I'm up in the box and you know I see I might see it one way and I'm like how the heck did he see that, um, you know? But he's just got so much time on task with it um, and being able to recognize something from pre snap to then being able to pull the trigger for post snap. Man, it's a lot of fun to watch and um, you know when he's playing at a high level, good things happen. Thanks. Hi, Joe. Uh, Mark gone from the Buffalo News. Uh, the tackle trap play has been a staple of the running game for, uh, you know, over a year now. Uh, could you just comment on the athleticism of Dion and Spencer? Uh, and then the, the your ability to run it from different looks so that it isn't obvious that it's coming. Yeah, I mean, anytime it's it's uh, naturally right. You you know, it's a concept that a lot of teams don't do, not because maybe knowledge, but they might not have the tackles that can do it. And, and we are fortunate to have Dion and Spencer and those guys being able to um, kind of work through that. And, um, you know, credit to Chrome and, and the guys being able to be, you know, to be able to adjust and, and say, hey, you know, this is, we have these type of offense alignment, let's run these type of schemes, right? And not just be, it is what we've always done, so we're just going to do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, I think whether it's a, a pass play or run play, how many different ways can you make it look something to the defense, but we're just running the same thing over and over, or we're trying to make it look like we're running something and give some, a different look with it. So uh, that's what we spend most of the time, you know, throughout the week is, Hey, we know we want to run this scheme or this scheme. How can we make it look like something else to our defense to maybe hide it for a second? Um, you know, so that's, yeah, that's what we kind of spend all week kind of trying to go through. Thank you. Thank you.